All right. Jack, just have a seat, please. Um, um, for Tansy, move back. Yeah, move back. I think I like you there. Or you can move up here. Okay, for this next problem, it's the exact same thing, but now I already told you what the slope was. Remember, we found the slope by saying the slope was the change to go from this point to this point. I had to go down three and over five. But since I went down three, we called it, we had a negative slope. All right? So does everybody see how I found the slope? Remember, guys, slope is a ratio. A lot of people, once we started talking about intercepts, they are confusing your intercepts and your slope. Slope is a ratio between what we say the rise or the change in your y's compared to the change in your x values, which we call the run. So it's your slope is 3 fifths. Now to find my y equals mx plus b equation of my line, which we call the slope intercept, I know my slope is y equals a negative 3 fifths x. But what I need to do is I need to determine what is my y intercept, right? Because it's mx plus b, and b represents your y intercept. So I look at this graph, I know there's a little messed up there. But if you can see where this line goes, where does it look like it crosses the y inner axis? You guys can count all the way up. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, very good. So you can say the y intercept is at six. So my equation on my line in slope intercept form is y equals a negative 3 fifths x plus six. Does anybody have any questions on that? No, pretty good. Cool. 